Ouais, ça doit être pénible. Bah, tu, tu veux pas tu, tu payes beaucoup d'impôts ou pas 1, 2, 1, 2. Je sais pas, cette année, combien je vais payer, mais la dernière, je n'ai pas payé, mais cette année, peut-être, oui. Parce que si tu payes trop d'impôts, tu sais qu'en France, c'est défiscalisé, en fait, à hauteur de 50%, une aide à domicile. Nous, on en prend une, là, elle démarre euh, lundi. Ouais, je connais, mais bon, il faut convaincre le sien. Parce que nous, on a fait ça. Là. Nous, elle va, elle va travailler donc à partir, je ne sais plus si c'est pas la semaine prochaine ou l'autre d'après. Mais en gros, c'est trois heures par semaine pour débuter pendant un paquet de temps. On va en avoir pour peut-être quatre... Pour s'occuper de la rare Non, 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 pour nettoyer la maison. Ouais, bah tu, tu vas essayer de convaincre la Sia, c'est le dimanche Euh... Bah... Pff. Ah, j'en parle avec les Cécile. Bah, de toute façon, euh, c'est pas très dur normalement de convaincre les, des, des Chinois oh, ou des bah, Chinois. Si. Ah, oh, si, 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 si. Qu'est-ce qui est dur Oui, bon, pff, tu sais. Hein. Ah, ça ne se fait Ah, ouais, parce que. Pff, moi, je sais que euh, pff, ça n'a pas été. Euh, pff, non, ça n'a pas été trop compliqué. Parce que, ah, bah, après, tu peux tourner les trucs autrement. Hein. Tu peux demander aussi pour le jardin ou ce que tu veux, hein, mais. Euh, nous, on a choisi plutôt pour euh, le ménage, en fait, pour nettoyer les sols, passer l'aspirateur. Non, nettoyer. Aussi, hein, non, aussi. Hein. Bah, tu me dis si elle travaille bien bah, pff, Nous, en fait, euh, on passe avec O2. Hein. Tu sais, O2, c'est une des plus grosses entreprises ouais. de service à la personne. Donc, euh, ouais. c'est pas comme si c'était quelqu'un qu'on connaissait ou quoi que ce soit. C'est vraiment euh, par une entreprise. Quoi. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Bon, bah, pff, je pense que je vais le faire. J'ai pas le temps, mais tu sais, c'est moi qui gère tout ça. Mais... Ça fait plusieurs fois que je voulais le faire, mais bon, en même temps. Bon, écoute, moi je te dirai hein, si c'est bien ou pas, mais euh, moi je vois que euh, chaque week-end j'y passe euh, à peu près 3 heures. Euh, franchement, si je peux mettre quelqu'un d'autre sur le coup, euh, qui me coûte pas. Parce qu'en fait, du coup, c'est défiscalisé à hauteur de 50%. Donc, du coup, ouais. ça fait autant d'impôts que tu as en moins à payer. Quoi. Bah, ouais, ouais, c'est ça. C'est ça que je voulais faire aussi. Mais. Euh... Ouais, c est, c est, je voulais faire ça aussi, mais euh, je n'ai jamais trouvé le temps d'avancer euh, et tout. Et à chaque fois, euh, je sais que j'en ai besoin. Mais, euh... En gros, je crois que ça te revient à peu près à, à 20 euros de l'heure, un truc comme ça. En gros, c'est 40 euros en tout, en tout que ça coûte de l'heure, mais vu que tu enlèves 20 euros, ça te coûte 20 euros de ta poche. Quoi. Bah ouais, ouais, ouais. Euh, tant que ça peut me soulager ou autre chose, je m'en fous. Hein, je peux payer. Mm -hmm. Euh, et du coup, tu as réussi à contacter Eric euh, Melounou ou pas Ouais, je l'ai eu il y a 15 minutes au téléphone. Il est d'accord Ouais, il est d'accord, mais euh, il faut que je paye un, un ticket d'entrée pour être référencé. C'est 550 euros. Bah, dis-lui de... Bah, bah, dis dis d'aller se faire enculer, ça sert à rien, hein. passe pas avec lui dans ce cas. <rire> C'est ce que je lui ai dit, j'ai dit, attends, euh, déjà, je ne suis pas formateur, hein, voilà. Euh, si mon client, il... Non, mais... Attends, mais tu lui as dit que tu venais de ma part Oui. Bah non, mais va, va certainement... C'est quoi, il veut prendre une commission de 550 euros ou il te demande de lui filer 550 non. euros Non, c'est ticket d'entrée, 550 pour commencer et après, c'est 20%. Bah non, mais dis-lui d'aller se faire enculer, il ne va pas travailler avec quelqu'un comme ça. Il me dit, oui, euh, du coup, euh, tu veux qu'on prenne rendez-vous la semaine prochaine Je dis, oui, bah attends, 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 je vais demander à mon client d'abord. <rire> non, non, euh, 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 non, mais faut être débile. Attends, le mec, euh, je, 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 je les amène un client sur un plateau et, euh, et non, mais il est con, non Bah, il est con, oui. Bon, euh, bah. Attends, tu fais rien, tu... Enfin, tu fais rien, tu fais juste les documents que tu fais, euh, machin, tu prends 20% dans la gueule, enfin, enfin il gagne 20% sur moi, et puis euh, pourquoi, pourquoi je veux... C'est ce que je lui ai dit, j'ai dit, bah non, mais les formations, je, je m'en fous, hein. c'est pas mon métier, je vais pas faire... Ah, il m'a dit, ouais, dans l'avenir, tu euh, t'as pas besoin de payer les 550, euh, ce sera, enfin, ce sera, comment ça va amortir et tout, et je dis, bah, attends. Si je suis formateur euh, à temps plein, pourquoi pas, tu vois. Mais non, c'est n'importe quoi. Et bah non, non, je veux pas. Ouais, ouais. Euh, alors là, je regarde du coup sur LinkedIn. Euh, pff, ouais. T'as des gens qui t'ont répondu ou pas Ouais, ouais, il y en a qui disent brio d'internet, mais je les connais pas. 
qui demande Vincent Chavignier, Nicolas Robineau, je ne les connais pas non plus. Enfin, si je les connais, mais je sais, enfin, ils n'ont pas répondu. Et tu sais pourquoi Daniel Roy qui ne voulait pas Non, je ne sais pas. Pourquoi tu ne veux pas avec Victor Lora C'est quoi le problème Moi, je peux le contacter s'il n'y a vraiment il y a personne. Hein. Bon, vas-y, euh, contacte-le. Ouais, tu... euh, il m'a dit euh, il n'a pas l'habitude de travailler comme ça. Et ils ne sous-traitent jamais leur formation. En plus, ils sont en train de réorganiser en interne leur formation. Donc, c'est un peu. Euh, ils, ils ont des problèmes de famille. Donc, je peux pas. Alors, je suis, je suis trop occupé. Toi, tu. Voilà. Ouais, alors, bon, tu bon, fais, bah, ouais. Demande à Victor Laura, alors. Ouais, ouais, je, je vais demander. Hein. Mais ça devrait aller avec Victor Laura. Tout ça, c'est un des anciens étudiants. Oui, oui, je, je, je le connais. Mais bon, je. C'est juste à chaque fois, si je peux éviter d'avoir de, de, des, des, des cours en commun avec lui, j'évite, hein, tu vois. Mais si jamais vraiment, j'ai pas de choix, euh, je passe par lui, tu vois. Euh, sinon, on peut peut euh, tu peux peut-être poster un truc dans le réseau des anciens du, du M2MD, peut-être que ça peut le faire, non Ouais, je, je, je vais poster un truc dans le, dans le réseau. Mmh. Si jamais j'ai vraiment rien, je, je vais lui demander, ça passe, hein, tu vois. Mmh. J'ai pas, pas de problème avec lui, mais bon, ça me, en fait, tu me, tu me connais. Enfin, moi, je, avec lui, il, enfin, est, il est bizarre. Hein. Est, oui, il est bizarre. Ouais. Il est bizarre. Et surtout, il, il me prenait tellement haut. Enfin, c est, c est, oh, ça me saoulait. Quoi. Mmh. Oh, ça me saoulait, ces gens. Et... Ouais. Si jamais j'ai pas d'autres solutions, je vais passer par lui. Mais sinon, ouais, tu vois. Okay. Voilà, bon, bah, en tout cas, merci. Du coup, pour dimanche, tu viens à partir de midi. Ouais, ça roule. Ok, super. Ça marche, Allez. à plus tard. À plus tard, ciao. Un, deux, un, deux. So, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, where to find the reports and features when you are migrating from Google Analytics to uh, Matomo. So, I got this idea of videos after discussing with uh, some of my clients. It's true that this, uh, let's say, this, this video or this knowledge is coming on and on. And I think it was interesting to explain you uh, where to find within Matomo the equivalent of the different reports and, and features that you are uh, going to find over here. Um, so the first thing to know is uh, mostly what is Matomo Analytics. So Matomo Analytics defines itself as the Google Analytics alternative. And I often use the comparison between Microsoft Office uh, software and LibreOffice in the sense that you will find out uh, kind of the same uh, features, kind of the same locations, but with uh, some slight differences between the two software. And this is exactly what uh, we're gonna see uh, today. So um, what's gonna happen is when you first, uh, let's talk first about the, the connection to, uh, to, uh, to Google Analytics. Uh, when you connect to Google Analytics, you go on analytics.google.com uh, through a button in order to connect yourself to the server of, uh, of Google. In the case of Matomo, it's, it's different because Matomo can either be installed within a, a cloud infrastructure, so to say either through a, a web hosting provider or a, any, anything like this, or uh, directly on-prem, which means that it's installed on the server of your company. So rather than clicking on the uh, connect button on the analytics website in Google, in the case of Matomo, the first difference is that you will need to know uh, the URL to connect to, uh, to Matomo. Uh, so that's the first, uh, the first difference. In order to know uh, where this uh, URL to connect to uh, is, you can just uh, look at the source code of a website and then you will see it within the tracker of uh, the solution. So typically over here, when I look at the tracking code of Matomo, I can directly see the URL of the instance, so to say where uh, to start to sign it and connect to, uh, to Matomo. And we said that's the main uh, difference. 
then once uh, you connect to uh, Google Analytics, you arrive most of the time on this uh, given uh, report. Uh, in Matomo, that's uh, roughly the same. You should land, in fact, on the following uh, dashboard, the one that you can see over here, or equivalent of, of this dashboard. So it's kind of the same, same thing as in, uh, as in Google Analytics. So uh, you can, in fact, change this behavior within Matomo by going over here in personal settings and change over here the report to load by default. Okay, So you have this additional feature in Matomo in which you can decide um, to land instead on the whole website dashboard, which correspond to uh, the following the following um, uh, the following web page. Okay, the one listing all the websites. Taking some time to load over here is going to be loaded in a minute. Uh, next, uh, what can we see over here? Um, in uh, in Google Analytics, you can change the website that you want to access to over here. Kind of the same thing within Matomo. You get the list of all the different uh, sites over here. Okay, so it's not it's not changing much. Uh, here uh, you are getting a search bar. Same thing as in Matomo. You get a search bar over here. It's just that in uh, Google Analytics, I don't know. Yes, uh, you have the, the same thing. Okay, you have a keyboard shortcut within. Um, within Google Analytics in order to access to some to some part, it seems at least if I press the S key, I can access to the search. Uh, that's the same thing within Matomo. Uh, you get, in fact, the question mark keypad. And then if you press the key, uh, you will uh, see, in fact, the list of the different shortcuts that you can use in order to access to, uh, to, the, different, uh, to the different features. Uh, over here, those are mainly um, Google ecosystem. Uh, we don't have the same equivalent within uh, within Matomo because Matomo is not linked with uh, with other systems. So typically, uh, we'll have those uh, settings uh, part, which in fact are uh, what we can see over here. So here, the cogwheel admin icon is the same as in Matomo. It's just that in Matomo, it's over here, whereas that in Analytics is is down below. Uh, then dealing with the UI in itself. Uh, this concept of saving a report does not exist uh, within Matomo. If you would like to save a report, in fact, it's about creating a custom report within Matomo, and that's a premium feature. So you need, in order to be able to have the same equivalent of this feature over here, the save one, you need uh, to purchase the license plugin or you need to use the Matomo Cloud. When it comes to export over here, about exporting a given report, that's the same thing in Matomo. That's what you can find over here. Okay, it's just that the options are different. In the case of Matomo, you have uh, several different possibilities. In the case of um, Google Analytics, you have less possibilities, but they are, let's say, tailored and custom uh, differently. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, in Google Analytics, you have this feature in order to share a report, in order to send um, uh, the, the data. In Matomo, it's a bit different. Uh, you can get some data feed over here, but then uh, it's on your own in order to send an email with an attachment. If you would like to send a given report, you will need to access over here on personal and then email report in order to be able to send uh, the given report to, to someone. Okay, so you'll have to tick here the report that you want and then you'll have to uh, enter over here the different email address to which you would like to send the data to. Here we have something which is named Insights within uh, Google Analytics. I have no idea what this part is about. Uh, here you have a calendar. So in Google Analytics, you have the possibility to select uh, uh, to select uh, to select a period. That, that's what we're going to do over here. Okay, you select a period. It's taking a bit of time, and then it's going to display the period. Okay, kind of magic. Uh, here you get today, yesterday, last week, last month, last seven days, last thirty days. It's kind of the same thing within uh, within Matomo. Everything can be piloted uh, directly thanks to the calendar that you can see uh, over here. Okay, it's just that the period range. Are, um, are, a bit, uh, are a bit different. Okay, uh, next, you have the segment possibility within Matomo, same thing, uh, within Google Analytics, same thing over here. You create the segment and then you can compare the one segment to another by clicking on those uh, buttons which are, which are there. So it's kind of the, of the same thing. Um, the, the display of the data is 
bit similar than in uh, from uh, Google Analytics to Matomo. Here, as you can see, you can compare uh, one data to another within a, within a graph report. Uh, it's the same thing within uh, within Matomo, as you can see. Uh, let's say over here on the overview part, you can select the different uh, metrics that you would like to plot on the on the graph in order to make one against another one. Okay, that's that's no big deal. Uh, then, so as in Google Analytics, so here you have the possibility to create some annotation. Okay, no big deal. You can create an annotation. Um, it's just that in Matomo you don't have this private possibility. Okay, by uh, default, in fact, the annotation that you can see over here, they are all shared among all the different uh, visitors on the website. Just that in Matomo you can mark. It as a favorite in order to make the annotation stands out out of the other um, let's say out of the other um, annotation but that's that's uh, that's a bit different so in Matomo you don't have the possibility to keep it uh, private uh, then uh, over here we have the possibility within uh, Google Analytics to get to hourly um, uh, graph evolution this uh, possibility does not exist in itself uh, on, uh, on, uh, on Matomo, though uh, you can somehow get a foretaste of it by using this report named Times. And of course, you can create custom report with an evolution graph showing the times in terms of evolution. It's just that this option will not be, let's say, uh, set on all the different reports that you have in Matomo. You have to create a custom report for that. Uh, dealing with how to get a pie chart within Matomo. Uh, in fact, you can uh, you can get a pie chart. It's just about uh, data visualization thing. So you need to ask for a change of uh, the display of the report, and then you can get a pie chart. If for some reason the data that you wanted to get uh, is not available as a pie chart, probably it's that you need to create a a custom dimension in order to uh, get this pie chart possibility. In terms of uh, the different terminologies, those are uh, kind of the same as in Matomo. The big difference is that what Matomo is in fact uh, using as a, as a browser is in fact what they call within Google Analytics as a, as a, as a users. So it's kind of uh, the only thing to know over here is that in, in Google Analytics, a user is the equivalent of, let's say, a visitor in a, in, uh, in Matomo, but that's just uh, a question of, uh, of terminology. Over here on, uh, on the left, uh, you have in Google Analytics what we call customization with dashboard, custom report, save report, and custom alert. Uh, it's different within Matomo. The location are, are, are different. So in Matomo, uh, what we call customization is in fact dashboard. So by default, you can uh, create as uh, many dashboards as you want within Matomo, and you can add as many widgets as you want on a, on a given dashboard. By default, uh, over here, the default dashboard will always be displayed here. So if you want to put your favorite report, you should better put them in this default dashboard. Um, the custom reports within Matomo, uh, you have the choice to set them either over here in this category or in any other uh, category that you want. Okay, that, that's really a big difference with, uh, with Google Analytics, but within Matomo, you can really change the default standard report that you have in order to add a custom report to them. So that, that's a big difference. Uh, safe reports are in fact kind of the same thing as custom reports within Google Analytics. So I'm not gonna um, detail that. Custom alerts within Matomo are not available over here. So available over here, and they are available as um, how to say as a community plugin. So you need to install a plugin for this. Dealing with uh, the real-time reports. So here, the real-time report within uh, Google Analytics are very different from uh, from Matomo because the display is uh, is different. In the case of Matomo, it's uh, displayed like this. Uh, you have over here, real time and real time uh, map. So the uh, report dealing with real time is in fact showing out all the data about the visitor where uh, in Google Analytics, it's in fact split within different reports. Okay, so there's a, there's a big difference. 
but in terms of data coming through, uh, it's the same thing. So you are seeing exactly the same data which, which are entering uh, rather on Google Analytics than, on, than in Matomo. Then um, uh, Google Analytics and Matomo are the same over here. So you have the three types of data which are split this way, audience acquisition and behavior. So within audience, uh, you get the overview. So that's what was was looking at uh, over here, overview. Okay, so this is same thing. Active uh, user in uh, Google Analytics are, uh, I'm not sure what this uh, report is about. So it's about the active uh, user. I'm wondering if that's not the equivalent of what they call in, uh, in Matomo, which is the, the cohort. Uh, maybe that's not exactly the same thing. Here it's a premium feature that we are looking at, but it's uh, from my understanding, it, it looks like a bit uh, the, the same thing. Oh, they have over here another cohort, uh, maybe it's okay. Uh, here, I'm not going to enter much into the detail about the lifetime value and cohort and thing, but I have the feeling that it, it looks like the feature I just show you in, in Matomo. About uh, the audiences, so here I have the feeling that it's going to be a fancy uh, feature from, from Google, but I don't have uh, much information about this. I'm going to move to the demographic. Uh, so demographic uh, does not exist within a uh, within Matomo Analytics, or at least not labeled as uh, demographic. Uh, the, of course, you will need here the information about age and gender, but if you would like to have those data, of course, you need to find a way to collect them, but it will be a custom dimension that you will create in Matomo. So custom dimension are created over here in uh, measurable and custom dimension. And then you create at the visit level, the age and the gender, and then uh, those age and gender thing will then appear as a uh, visitor characteristics. So here, over here, you will be able uh, to push the age if you can get uh, the information about it. Uh, then dealing with interest, that's gonna be exactly the same thing. Not that in Matomo, you can create as many custom dimension as you want. So if you want to create like thousands of custom dimension, uh, you can do it, it's no big deal. Uh, dealing with the language and the location part, it's exactly the same uh, thing as in, um, as in Google Analytics. So you get your report, which are gonna be uh, over here in uh, location and over here in locations, you are getting so the country, uh, the region, the city, the browser language, uh, the language code um, over, over here. Okay, so same thing as in, uh, as in Google Analytics, main difference which can occur is the accuracy of the city because in Matomo, you can really define this uh, in details and you can as well use different databases. Whereas in the case of uh, Matomo, uh, in case of Google Analytics, you only have the database of, uh, of Google. So that's something that you can define over here in, uh, in geolocation in order to have a different, uh, different uh, IP. Uh, databases correspondence. Um, then here you get uh, the report about news and um, and let's say uh, known uh, visitors. So that's something that you can find uh, that you can find where uh, over engagement. Okay, behavior engagement is the report showing you the visitor who came on your website versus the one who just came for the first time. Uh, it's the same thing as the other report uh, that you're gonna have uh, over here. Uh, I think the big difference here is that just that Google Analytics in fact splitting some reports which are in fact available uh, elsewhere within, uh, within Matomo. Dealing with the technology, so to say browser and operating system, so as the network, uh, it's a bit different in Matomo, so dealing with what we call the, the software part. So the technology part, you can find it here on software and dealing with the, um, let's say the access provider. Uh, that's what you can find over here. It's a plugin uh, that you need to put in order to be able afterwards to get the internet service uh, provider. So this is what they mentioned over here. You have an FAQ on which you can get uh, the network of the IP address. Uh, then you have uh, one report dealing with uh, differences between mobile and desktop. So that's typically what you're gonna find over here in, uh, in devices. Okay.
uh, so you get you get you get it here. Uh, then dealing with the cross device, so this is what we call the user ID. And so user ID within Matomo is is over here. So it's part of a tracking code that you need to implement on your website in order to measure uh, what is happening on the cross device. Uh, not that uh, here in uh, in Google Analytics, it it goes far more deeper than in uh, than in Matomo. Um, dealing with customs here, yeah. so custom variables and user defined, so it's what I mentioned, custom dimensions. Here in Google Analytics, you define them here. Same thing in Matomo, it's just that according to uh, the custom dimension you are defining, if you define it at the visitor level, it will appear over here. If you define it at the action level, so to say the page, for example, it will appear over here. Uh, benchmarking, Matomo does not do any uh, benchmarking. It's just that if you want to uh, benchmark and do a competitor, um, competitor analysis, um, oh, actually this is uh, not what I thought it was. Sorry, I don't know enough. Uh, <laughs> And of Google Analytics, at least it's changed a lot. Uh, so benchmarking, finally, I have the feeling that it's more about, the, let's say, the growth of uh, the different uh, different channels or different uh, devices and stuff. Okay, so then in this case, uh, for Matomo, that's something uh, that you can find uh, over here. So at the bottom of each report, you have the possibility to get what uh, we call insights. And insights are in fact giving you uh, the evolution of any dimensions that you're going to look at against uh, the same dimension, but for uh, a period of time of the past. Users flow in uh, Matomo is a premium feature that, uh, of course, you can you can acquire, which really look like the one that we currently have a look at. So you just need to go over here and to click on users flow, and then you get uh, the same. Uh, the same, uh, the same thing. Uh, big difference here, I guess. Uh, not sure if probably you can do it as well in Google Analytics, but uh, you can change and use the page title instead of instead of the URL. Uh, next report over here in Google Analytics about acquisition. Uh, kind of the same thing in Matomos, named the the same thing acquisition over here. Um, and what are the big difference? So here, this is uh, an overview. This is the old traffic. Um, the concept of source and medium uh, does not exist in Matomo, though you can install a plugin which will add this concept as a, as a campaign. It's just that in Matomo, they call it a, uh, a channel type and they call it as well the name of the, the referrer. That's, that's the big difference. You, you have somehow the same concept but the word source medium does not exist by default within Matomo. About the TreeMap visualization in Matomo, it's a plugin, a free plugin that you need to install in order to get this, uh, this data visualization. Uh, for the rest, it's, it's the same. Here you have some channels within uh, Matomo. It's over here, you get, you get the channel. Um, here's the Google Ads part. So the Google Ads part uh, doesn't exist within Matomo because Google API uh, blocked uh, Matomo. Okay, so a plugin has been developed in order to inject so as here all the data coming from Google Ads within Matomo, but Google decided that uh, they wanted to ban uh, Matomo. So are, as a result, this part is not appearing anymore. But technologically, Matomo has developed everything in order to get the same thing as what you have over here. Dealing with the search console, over here, uh, Matomo has not been banned. So here, the full plugin has been developed in order to import uh, the data from uh, the search console within uh, Matomo Analytics. So um, I don't have it set it on this website that I was currently have a look at, but you can see over here that you get what they call combined keywords, web keywords and Google, yes, and so on and so forth. Um, the plugin of Matomo go even further than the one of Google Analytics because you can get, in fact, the data coming from Microsoft Yahoo and the Yandex Search Console. Uh, dealing with uh, the social part here in, in uh, Google Analytics, it's a bit more uh, developed, but in, uh, in Matomo, uh, you just have the information dealing with, uh, dealing with the social network. I won't say that it's a big deal. Uh, and dealing with the campaign, that's exactly the same thing in Matomo. You have the possibility to create marketing campaigns thanks to URL parameters that you are including within uh, your different URL. 
Uh, dealing with the behavior, so it's uh, kind of the same thing. So you have over here behavior. Uh, you have uh, behavior flow. So I guess it's, uh, <laughs> it's probably the same thing as the user's flow. Okay, for me it's the it's the user flow. Over here you get the pages which are the most um, the most browsed. That's the same thing as as over here entry pages. Site speed, uh, dealing with site speed, it's uh, just that the report is uh, engagement. Uh, the report is a bit uh, hidden because it's included within the last column of, of the report. So that's the one that you can, uh, that you can see over here. So as uh, there is a report that we are not seeing on my, on my MetaMove that you can find, which will give you as well uh, the performances Oops, in terms of uh, loading time, okay, um, maybe I just need like one month of data, but as you can see, uh, we can get as well uh, the time that it takes for each page uh, to uh, to load. Uh, so this this report exists in uh, in Matto. Uh, site search, same thing as in uh, as in Google Analytics for Matomo, except that you get. Um, one individual tracking code that you can implement as well on your pages in order to get uh, more information about uh, the search which have been performed, such as uh, the search which ended up in your results, and as well the number of results on, um, on a given results page. Uh, events is the same thing as in Matomo. Okay, you find it uh, over here. And uh, publishers, uh, there's no yet any uh, integration of Google AdSense uh, within Matomo, at least as far as I know, so you won't have the possibility to get, uh, to get this. Uh, dealing with experiments, so Matomo has its own plugin named A-B testing, which allow you to integrate uh, A-B testing within uh, Matomo Analytics. So it's a paid feature, but which will allow you to uh, perform some A-B test is what we can see. Over here, the big difference compared to Google Analytics is that you don't have a UI in order to uh, make the edits of the website design. For the rest, uh, this is the same concept. Okay, so everything uh, that you knew how to do in Google Analytics, you will be able to reproduce it within, uh, within Matomo. Dealing with the conversion part, same thing within Matomo, you can create goals. A uh, big difference is that you can create some manual goals within uh, Matomo, where in uh, Google Analytics you have to define uh, some events in order to be able to, uh, to do it. So over here in Matomo, you get these funny features named manual goal in which you have the possibility to add a uh, tracking code directly on the page in order to fire the goal. Uh, dealing with the e-commerce, same concept as in Google Analytics. The only difference is that in Matomo, you don't have what they call the advanced, uh, let's say, e-commerce, though so you can uh, add some uh, metrics dealing with the number of time a page or a given category has been displayed and then have been, uh, let's say, uh, responsible of, uh, of a sales or a conversion. Uh, you have, uh, however, the possibility to see individually the path of every people who interacted with the e-commerce feature. Um, attribution in Matomo is just located here, so same concept as in Google Analytics when you can see on the different uh, um, attribution model. Um, dealing with the rest, so dealing with the admin. So the concept of property and view does not exist within Matomo. Uh, so every new entity within Matomo is a new site ID. Uh, you can of course uh, send data to several uh, site ID and then use a filter within Matomo. So the same, it's not exactly the same concept of filter as in uh, as in Google Analytics, though it exists and though of course you can use uh, you can use the uh, the tag manager in order to decide when you want to to fire something. And uh, dealing with the filter part of Matomo, it's going to happen over here, right? So here you can set the excluded IP, the excluded parameters, the excluded user agent, and you can as well use, as I said, the tag manager in order to say when you would like uh, the tracking code to be, uh, to be triggered or not. So it's kind of, kind of the same thing, even though you don't have a UI for it. In terms of um, account management, how to add users, a big difference that in Matomo, you have one concept 
who does not exist within uh, Google Analytics, which is the concept of a super user. But you can, like this, in fact, uh, create some uh, admin, you can create some view access, you can uh, create several uh, visitors, so as uh, the possibility as well to uh, give an access to a username anonymous in order to make uh, your website public if you have nothing to hide. Uh, dealing with the rest over here, um, it's kind of similar, kind of the same, uh, kind of the same thing. So you have of course a place when you can see uh, the tracking code of Matamo. So that's what uh, you see when you click over here in Measurable. As you can see, compared to Google Analytics, you have far more features and uh, options which are available here. And the reason is that with Matamo, you can have. Uh, full access to the server, where in Google Analytics, you just have an access to a service. So it's, it's totally different. So here is where you can find a different uh, tracking code. Uh, dealing with uh, the association with uh, any third party service, the concept in Matomo is closely the same. It's just that you install some plugins, which will then uh, offer you, um, let's say, add some extra uh, field within uh, the system configuration. So that's typically what you will find, for example, over here. Uh, here, as you can see, you have space for two-factor authentication. You have one for the GYP. You have one for the SEO part. Uh, you have one for uh, the search engine tool performance. Uh, so as you can see, it's over here that we enter the different token in order to make uh, the authorization possible. So all these parts out is the equivalent within Matomo in the admin. Uh, dealing with the import of data, it's kind of the same thing. It's either done through the UI or through what we call the console, which means accessing to the server and explaining how the data will be imported. Uh, you don't have in Matomo uh, calculated metrics. Okay, so custom metrics does not exist within Matomo. It just has the possibility to create some custom dimensions. And uh, over here, so that's the same thing I already talked about. Those uh, segments, it's exactly as in as in, uh, as in Google Analytics. So you go at the top of each report and you create your segments accordingly. So it's over here. Um, dealing with the rest annotation already talked about it. Dealing with the funnels. So the funnels are over here. It's a premium feature. Uh, this is just for visualization because you are defining the funnels at the goals level. Uh, custom alerts already show it was. Schedule email is the first feature that I show in this presentation. And uh, that's uh, mostly it. So I really hope uh, that you enjoyed this video and it helps you see the difference of locations of the reports and, uh, re and features of Matomo Analytics. Uh, thanks for watching.